social media, boy, boy, I know you what you do, but you do it for play play. If you do it for real, here it is, Kevin. I got a show at your hometown in Philly. I'm going to take my special there. On that stage, we can put whatever you want. So now I know that if your mouth is really, really big and you try to tell the truth for a living and you like to air people out, hatred is coming your way. I didn't know it was going to be this type of hatred, but you know. I'm concrete in all things. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Cat Williams reveals how Diddy and Kevin Hart are planning to silence him. So, word on the street is that both Diddy and Kevin Hart are reportedly trying to silence Cat Williams. According to claims, they have reportedly resorted to threatening him into keeping quiet. But Cat has never been one to back down from speaking his mind, especially when it comes to exposing the shady dealings of the entertainment industry. Cat recently went on a wild expose and revealed some shocking information about Kevin Hart and Didi. He claimed that Kevin was an industry plant who sacrificed his soul for fame and that Didi tried to get him in his bed, even offering over $50 million. Now, to no surprise, this reportedly irked Didi, who has reportedly threatened Kat to keep his mouth shut or else. And knowing Didi's history, many fans are now speculating that he was threatening to delete Kat. After all, he was recently accused of blowing up Kid Cody's car and Casey alleged that he once had to run out with a gun to confront such knights who made him feel threatened. As for Kevin Hart, he's reportedly talking to his lawyers to sue Kat. This is typical of Kevin as he's been known to sue anyone who speaks out against him. He recently sued Tashaki for airing an interview that exposed him for being a cheater. But Kat has never been afraid to reveal any shady dealings. For those who need a refresher, he's called out Diddy and Jermaine for allegedly pimping the Criss Cross boys. In case you didn't know, Diddy and Jermaine allegedly had a relationship where they would pimp out their artists to each other and others in their friend group, leading to allegations of grooming and exploitation, particularly with the Criss Cross, which was introduced to the music world in 1992 by music producer and rapper German Droopy after he discovered the pair at Greenbrier Mall in Southwest Atlanta. Kelly performed alongside Chris Smith, who's known as Daddy Mac. Their first and by far most successful song was Jump, the hit of their multi-platinum 1992 debut album totally crossed out, featured the two trading verses and rapping the refrain, the song's title. The duo had surprisingly maturity in their rap delivery, though the song was written by Droopy. It would become a number one smash in the United States and globally, and one of the most popular of that year. Their success led to instant fame, they toured with Michael Jackson, appeared on TV shows. However, many people started giving Jermaine and Diddy the side eye after photos surfaced that showed Kelly with bald spots on his head. There were rumors, there were rumors that he'd been abused, but in an interview, he denied this and said he suffered from alopecia, a hair loss condition. He said, my health is good, I just got alopecia, I don't have cancer, not other sort of diseases. But a lot of people, including Cat Williams, have punched holes in all those claims and suggested that the entertainment industry is built on grooming, violation, and trafficking, sparking disturbing rumors which started circulating that the boys were groomed and possibly violated during the early days of their career. And Cat Williams did not stop at that. He publicly called German Dupree the king of peace in a freestyle, sparking controversy and rumors about his grooming of Chris Cross boys. And interestingly, it appears he was onto something because even Casey's lawsuit revealed that Diddy allegedly groomed her, put his hands on her and pimped her out to male escorts while he watched.
Now, to make things even more convincing, Cat Williams hinted that Didi and Jermaine were indirectly responsible for Chris Kelly's death due to the trauma he experienced from them. You see, nothing came out of that investigation because everybody they spoke to in the industry went over and beyond to protect Didi and keep their mouth sealed on Didi's alleged activities. Many believe that Justin turned to drugs as a way to heal from the pressure and trauma of the thing that Didi allegedly did to him. Now, interestingly, Didi also allegedly forced Casey to take substances and provided her with copious amounts of substances. With that, I bet you can see how Kat was already ahead of time, and it's not just him, even his fans. See, things took a pretty serious turn after German Dupre took to his Instagram to wish Bow Wow a happy birthday as he reflected on the years of working together. Someone commented under the post accusing German Dupree of molesting Chris Cross. The user even claimed that Chris Cross had a lawsuit against Dupree that Chris Cross allegedly won. Now, all the claims have been greatly due to Katz, who's kept his knee on the industry's shading deals. Similarly, he's also recently called Kevin Hart an industry plant. Katz said that Hart has never received a standing ovation at any comedy club and that for every movie Hart did, he was offered the role first. He said, like, it don't need to be overly homosexual, cause I'm not homosexual, right? Then going to give it to this other guy and having him to do it just like it was and acting like I'm a bad person because I keep standing on my standards. He also pointed to Hart's breakaway success as proof that Hart is supposedly a Hollywood plant, saying, what do you think a plant is? He would hate to seem like a pity individual for picking apart lies. Of course, had reacted to these comments and ex saying, gotta get that anger rap out your champ. It's honestly sad. He also took the opportunity to promote his movie Lift. Interestingly, that's not all. It appears that the response from Didi and Kevin Hart has been to label Cat Williams as a drug addict. In a resurfaced interview, Kevin referred to Cat as an irresponsible drug addict, which doesn't come across as surprising because it is not uncommon in the entertainment industry. However, it is clear that Cat won't easily back down or backtrack his words given his history. The audacity of Didi and Kevin thinking they can shut Cat Williams' mouth is even pretty laughable. I mean, in which world have they been living in? Cat has proven time and time again that he's outspoken and unafraid to talk about anything and anyone over the years. Let us not forget that Kat knows how dangerous it can be to always air other people's shady businesses. He's faced backlash and even been blackballed in the industry for revealing how black actors are humiliated by being made to wear dresses. That got him a lot of hate from industry insiders, but guess what? It didn't change a thing about him. So do Diddy and Kevin really think they're through Reds will have any facts on cats, it's quite amusing to think so. Both Did and Kevin may be known for being broken records, but they have taken it to new levels with this one. It is almost comical to see them pop out of nowhere with their little hard feelings thinking they can intimidate Cat Williams because let's be real here, Cat Williams is not one to back down easily. He's faced numerous challenges and controversies throughout his career, yet he continues to come back and spill even more outrageous claims. Considering that, he won't be silenced by anyone, especially not by Didi and Kevin. In fact, it seems like Didi and Kevin might be underestimating Cat's resilience. He's been through a lot in his career, but he's still standing and still speaking his mind, so it is unlikely that they will be successful. Kat is a force to be reckoned with and he's not going to be silenced anytime soon. But what do you think about all of this? Do you think that Didi and Kevin Hart will successfully shut Kat Williams up? Or do you think Kat will continue to expose the shady dealings of the industry? Let us know in the comment section below and as always, stay tuned for for more drama.